in this last tutorial, we are going to see how to uh, center your object uh, and center the camera and of your object, how to change the rotation of the gizmo without changing the rotation of the object, and how to optimize uh, the scene uh, with some tips. So let's go. So uh, to export your object, you always have to verify that your object is in the center of your scene, which uh, which you can uh, what you, you can um, verify here uh, in the panel on the right. Uh, so you have to verify that the position is on zero zero zero. The rotation is on zero zero zero. Uh, for example, if your object is uh, on the left, on the right, sorry, uh, the position is not correct. And when you uh, will export, the rotation, the center of the rotation is not your object, but is, uh, is, is here. So the rotation is not correct. So uh, there is two solutions to uh, center your object. The cleaner solution is to position your object in 0, 0, 0, like that. Uh, plus uh, clicking, click on your object, plus click on S. So it's uh, always in the center. Because you can have the, the object in 0, 0, 0, but you can have the uh, camera um, not really correctly uh, positioning. So even if your object is, is on in the center of your scene, the camera is looking not the center, so the the rotation is not going to be correct like that. So you have to to press S to center your object um, with your camera. Uh, yeah. Then um, what I wanted to show you is the um, uh, modification of the gizmo, but without changing the rotation of the object. So if I just click on the object and I want to rotate, uh, the object change plus, uh, plus the gizmo change. Uh, what uh, we can see is um, the um, here we have uh, 90 and if I press 0 it's co coming back to, to the correct uh, it's uh, I reset the position I mean but I can also change the uh, change the um, uh, number here without changing the visually with, without um, rotating the object. What I have to do is click uh, not uh, on my object and when I'm going to click on the object I have to press Ctrl or and Alt. And now as you can see my, my the angle um, is changing but my my model is not rotating if i press shift i have the as I, I have the correct i mean the very precise um number <laughs> wow <laughs> uh so as you can see here i have a 19 but my model is uh is in the sun is uh, in the center and if I press 0 my body is going to rotate visually so mm, if I want my motel my model um, in front of me I have to do the, the same thing Control plus alt click on my object and changing back to normal the gizmo point up and zero okay uh, also sometimes 
you have your model very far away and it looks like uh, it's super close. So always verify that you are at 100% uh, visually. Okay, and now what I, I want to show you is um, a panel which, which is on export, run test. It's, it calls uh, 3D Vitals and it's, uh, show it show you how to optimize your scene. So not how to optimize, but it show you what uh, part you can optimize. So as you can see, the model now is super optimized, but uh, let's just uh, overview um, what is inside this panel. So if I have too many objects, uh, there it's going to be not correct. Uh, so I have to remove some objects. Uh, for example, if I have too many polygons, what I can do is, uh, I will show you, is uh, removing. So if, uh, for example, uh, the level of subdivision is super high, uh, it's going to be it's going to be easy, and I just have to uh, go back to one or two in terms of level of subdivision. Uh, but what I want to show here is also uh, directly in the modeliza modelization. So with loop cut, I can create a line. So here I, I have added a line cut, but it's for showing you how to remove it, actually. So now if I want to remove the line cut I have just created, I just have to double click on one line of uh, the, the loop I want to select. Up, it's going to select all the loop and I just have to press D to remove the loop. So if I double check, double click here, remove the loop here. I, I don't want to remove the loop, so come back to normal. But uh, this is how we can remove, uh, how we can remove uh, a line cut, a line, sorry. Um, so it's how we can optimize a model. Let's come back to our Vital panel. Also, if there is too many materials, uh, you could you could ha you can have some problems of uh, optimization. So you can not not have problems, but you can have some. Uh, indication that you can remove some material. So I will show you how to create and how to remove materials. Um, if I want to create a material and I just ha and I, I have a new shape, for example, this one, uh, I have so a new lighting, etc. And I have to click on these uh, four dots that is going to open um, this panel and I just have to click on the plus create material asset to create a new material. So entity material, I just have to double click and uh, I will <laughs> call it gray. And now if you remember, remember well, we had five materials previously. So now if I check, I have six materials. So uh, to remove a material now, uh, I have just to, um, if I click on the thing, I have the panel open here. If I click on an object, it's go I'm going to open again the, the um, panel of, of the material, but it's very um, more, he's, he's, very easier to click on nothing and have the panel here and all the material here to remove the material i mean so um, i just have to click on this close cross to remove the material and don't forget to delete also your object you don't need and again checking how many material i have five 
Okay, so now, um, now, uh, it's all optimized. Also, you can see that uh, lights is better to have like one light um, because we are in real time. So the less light we have, uh, the better. That's uh, that's that's all, guys. I hope you liked it and it was helpful for you. Um, see you soon in a new tutorial.